Hello, it's Sarah. I am, I've been making Christmas ornaments, but before I talk about that, you guys have probably seen them, shaker cards, right? These are some that I made last year. I don't have as much, many as I did because I gave a lot away. Um, and it was, when I first started paper crafting, I made cards. I started with a Stampin' Up! rep that would have people over to her house and we made cards. So um, I started on YouTube and I would start Googling and things like, or not Googling, YouTubing, finding, finding videos by you guys making cards. Um, so I came across shaker cards and of course I had to try it. Um, these are just a couple and these are done with my Lawn Fawn stamps. And I love Lawn Fawn. They're so fun to play with, paper piece and do all that stuff. And I just have glitter in there. And it says you're so cool. And I didn't even do anything to the insides yet. And this one I just paper pieced a bunch of the different elements from the stamp set. And uh, it says let's chill. I think I actually combined a couple different ones. Um, I also made these little snow globe cards. I can't remember the... the I think it was, um, you know what, I'm going to try and think of it and uh, put it in the information box, but <coughs> what ha I think I was putting in like snow globe um, cards or something, because that's what this is, it's a snow globe card, and, and this is not um, a die set or anything, it's just, I use my round dies, and you know, just fudge it that way. I mean, I'm pretty good at doing that stuff. And then I paper pieced some penguins and it says, you're so cool on this one. And you stamp on the ace tape. That's one thing too I wanted to talk about. I don't know the name of this brand. I ripped my label off and I don't remember. I think I got it at Joann's online. But I think a lot of people use transparencies from like staples and I mean you can even use your paper packaging like if you get any plastic pieces in your packaging you can take that and die cut it and use it for um, your shaker cards and um, you know to, to use as ace tape or whatever they call it um, and then I made this polar bear one so cute just paper pieced it and again it says you're so cool so I liked, I, I pulled these out of my card box because I was trying to get ideas to make ornaments. Like I, you may know I have a show on Saturday, so of course I'm scrambling. Um, I came across this card and this was actually a tutorial by, um, actually she designed the stamp set. Where the heck did I put that? She designs for Simon Says Stamp. What the heck? I'm, I'm so sorry. I forget everything when I get on, um. What is her name? Because she has she has a YouTube page, and um, it probably says it on here. But again, I'll try to uh, I'll try to put a link below. Um, because this is she designed it, and I just thought it was so cute. Have a furry Christmas with the critters, and these are her her dog and her, some of her friends, and that's her friend's cat and stuff. And then they look like they're looking out a window. So that was a cute card. And then this is another um, this is a uh, lawn fawn. This is the uh, Sweet Christmas set. So I just paper pieced and put um, stickles on stuff and um, glossy accents and made some snow hills and put Have a Sweet Holiday. It's just fun. They were fun. But anyway, so let me get to, and actually here's a smaller version of that. It's just a little, I think this was actually on the blog, on the either on the Lawn Fawn blog or just on YouTube, the Lawn Fawn YouTube um, site. So these are the ornaments I came up with. They're little shaker ornaments. This one I used my, um, <clears throat> what are these called, my spell binders, and just cut little frames with them. And I used, the glitter is actually, it's actually, it's whatever, this is called sugar cube. It's Martha Stewart, and it's huge. It's chunky glitter, and there's hearts in here, stars, just hearts and stars, but all different colors. Um, so it's nice to, for a shaker card, you know, and actually, um, so I used them in here. There's stars in this one and I put way too much on some of them. I put have a furry Christmas on the back and then I put the year in stickles. I don't know. I think they're kind of cute. They're pretty, you know, this one, then I decided to start making them going up and down because it cut off a lot of the design on when I did it that way. So I made them, um, 
vertical or I don't know this way but look how much glitter I put in this one I put a ton like it almost hides the cat and this is just like a thick glitter it's not a fine glitter but it's a big glitter but then I I put totally not a lot in this one so I was just like none of them are perfect and I put a have a furry Christmas on all these but I thought that would be cute for the animal lovers right um then I also made this one it actually turned out kind of plain so I wasn't really thrilled with it but I did the polar bear because when I did my cards originally I stamped them on like colored paper or I paper pieced them on a the colored paper but I was afraid the paper piece on the snow globes in case like the glitter got stuck on there and everything but I did end up doing it and it turned out fine so I'll show you that in a second um, yeah, this one I did and this these are actually little micro beads and I kind of regretted these are the recollection They're called micro beads. Yeah um, I kind of regretted putting them in there But like they kind of are a little heavier and they'll make the glitter move more But they're blue and I I don't know it just totally Made the snow dirty or something. I don't know what it did, but it definitely, they move more. So it would have been nice to have white ones, but I didn't have any white. I only had colors. But hey, you got to try stuff. You got to see what happens. And then this turned out to be one of my favorites. And again, I put the micro beads in here. So I put red micro beads, which I regretted. But she's still cute. And I ended up making four more of these. This one turned out to be like my favorite one. When you stop believing in Santa, you get socks and underwear. So, and I just used stickles around the edges and put these little, this is a Martha Stewart, oh, fell apart, because it has a, uh, just a, whatever they're called, little, I'll, I'll glue it back again. I was just using the, um, these things, the glue dots to hold it, but I guess I'll have to, I think I'll just put a smidge of glue in the middle. But I did uh, a couple more of them with, um, I did them in pink. Because, I mean, you don't always have to go with red and green, I guess. But this paper had a little pink in it. So I thought, well, let me go with it. So I ended up coloring her with pink, a pink outfit. And just put the little, this one has hearts in it. So that's cute. And I'm just going to leave, I just um, stickled the back. I'm trying to let that dry still. But these turned out cute. Now I'm going to have to check all my bows and make sure they stay on. I have this one. I think this is the same colors. She has stars in hers. And then these two are... My stickles is still drying on the back. This is pretty because it's different colors. Like this paper was just so pretty. So I kind of... I pulled the pink out of the paper and then I used like this... What is this? Like aqua or teal or something? It's so pretty. So I just went with that. And I'm just going to put... Um, I stamped out Merry Christmas around here. Some are these. I'm just going to glue these on the back. I just had to let my stickles dry and put the year on the back. So, and then which I did one more in the blue. <coughs> but they're pretty, right? I like them. This is such a cute stamp. It's, um, my doggie's down here. Stampendous. The little, uh, playing ballerina kiddo. So I just made her into like a Christmas fairy. I think she's adorable. But, alright, so I'm running out of time. Um, I just wanted to show you that the I made a couple more shaker cards with the um, some more of the Lawn Fawn stamps. They're fun to make, and there's lots of tutorials out there um, if you're looking for them. Uh, Want to try it. So, alright guys, so let's see. I guess I'll put... Oh, I did want to mention the tutorial that I saw to give me this idea was called the 12 days of Christmas ornaments day 11 is paper and it's by Little Bay Stampin um, she did a really great tutorial on how to uh, make a shaker ornament all right guys thanks for watching